Hi everyone, it's Len Rappaport again from International Press Association. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, use the accordion slides that we've uh, previously talked about in our other video and uh, enhance it a little bit more by adding some images uh, above the slides. Uh, and this is especially useful in this particular case we're talking about a look of Asia. We have uh, countries that we talked about we might want to dress up these accordions so they don't just look like a bunch of accordions uh, by adding some images above them. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use uh, our picture frames, which is another short code feature uh, today, and how it's going to really dress up and, and make these accordions, you know, uh, a lot more useful <clears throat> than without them. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we've already set up our accordions, and we know how they look on the page. All right, so what we're going to want to do now is we want to add some image files above each one of these slides, all right? And we're going to use these uh, descriptions below that we put in here to describe basically what the viewer is going to be seeing in the uh, photographs, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we'll put our insertion point over here above slide number one, and we're going to go into the short codes right now, and we're going to click down, and we're going to go down to... individual image frames all right now since we're a blog and a blog is a little bit narrower than a full page we're not going to use the full width banner we don't want to use portrait that's for verticals we're going to use the full width one half in this particular case which will be the right size and we're going to insert that here now you notice it just inserted a lot of additional uh, you know code for us actually not that much it says frame style equals modern image path link uh, whatever but how do we get the link to to the image well we're going to use uh, our add media button here now if I wanted to add an additional image now I could add it now but in this particular case and we know how to upload uh, image files to our media library but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take this one already uh, that we clicked on here uh, of Malaysia. It's the one that we also used as our uh, full shot. And you'll notice that back here where it says attachment display settings on the right hand side. It has the URL of that image. All right, so we're gonna highlight it and copy it. There's another way of doing it, and that is to open the image and you know try to grab it that way, but in this particular case, it's easier to just go in here, highlight it, and ca copy it, and then we're going to close this, because all we needed was a link to the particular image. Now, you may have an image somewhere else, and you, you know, on Flickr or somewhere else, and you can link to that image if you want and pull it from there, but it's always best to pull it from within our own site. It's going to load a lot faster. Okay, it's going to ask you for the image path. All right, that's where we're going to paste in where the image is. Now, if we wanted to also link that to another page, all right, and uh, here's where you would link to another page, all right? So uh, if for some reason you had another article on Japan somewhere else and you wanted to link to that, you know, but in our case, we're not going to be doing that at all, all right? So uh, now we've now basically added an image file right over here, all right? Now, I could take this code that we just put in here and copy it over to have it above this slide here and also copy it above here. This is the fast way instead of going back and, and inserting new new codes. And I could change this image to something else, you know, to whatever image I want to put in here, all right? But we're going to leave it this way so I can show you what three images look like above, you know, the copy. And Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is in the wrong spot. Let's bring this back up over here. It goes right above accordion slide number three. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's take a, a look at this and see what it looks like in a preview. And the nice thing about this is it's great if, if you're, uh, you know, a photographer and you don't want to, you know, have a lot of images throughout an article with lots of copy and lots of text all over. This is a great way to do this. Okay. Now, look, some of our countries, that's our subhead. Here's the image we just inserted. Wow. 
look, in, in a beautiful frame. Okay, very cool. And here's our drop-down menu. And now they can read about the particular image right over here. Isn't that great? Okay, in addition to that, what I added here was, want more information about this country, click here. I might be clicking over to Wikipedia, you know, to more information about, you know, uh, China. Or I might have another article somewhere, you know, or something else that I want to click to, depending upon what your content is. Now, here's your slide number two about Japan. We happen to use the same image in this case, but obviously you would have a different image. And uh, here is my copy about this particular image, and Thailand is my third. And now look how cool this is. So if you have an article and you don't want to load it up with a lot of copy and a lot of, you know, small thumbnail images, you know, on the left side and the right side, you know, as we normally would do, uh, and you want to really show some dramatic images, you know, in a larger size, this is a great way to do it. And I urge you to, to give it a try and see how it works for you. All right. So this is a very short tutorial on just how to add uh, a picture frame, how to add uh, pictures, you know, above your accordion slides, and uh, maybe have some additional copy on the bottom of that, and maybe a click to uh, where they can go and see more information. Okay, so that ends this particular tutorial on how to use uh, picture frames, and incidentally, you can put picture frames anywhere you want in your article. It just gives it a nice, beautiful frame instead of just, you know, lopping in a picture, uh, you know, and centering it on, on your article. This is another way of, of handling that as well. Okay, that's the end of this video. Keep uh, watching my videos. I'll keep covering other little short codes and other new features.